Epic Times is a multi-language newspaper headquartered in New York City. The company was founded in 2000 by John Tang and a group of Chinese Americans. The newspaper covers general interest topics with a focus on news about China and human rights issues there. It draws from a network of sources inside China, as well as Chinese expatriates living in the West. The Epoch Times is widely distributed in overseas Chinese communities, and has been publishing in Chinese since May 2000. It is either sold or distributed free of charge in 35 countries, including various international regional editions. It has editions in English, Chinese and nine other languages in print, as well as 21 different languages on the Internet. Weekly print editions are also available. A typical issue includes sections for world and national news, op eds, sports, entertainment, business, arts and culture, travel, health and automobiles. Epic Times websites are blocked in mainland China, but people can access Epic Times using VPNs that function in mainland China. History Epic Times was started in 2000 by John Tang and a group of Chinese Americans. The founders say they were responding to censorship inside China and a lack of international understanding about the Chinese repression of Falun Gong. In May 2000, the paper was first published in the Chinese language in New York, with the web launch in August 2000. By 2003, the Epoch Times website and Epoch Times group of newspapers had grown into one of the largest Chinese language news websites and newspaper groups outside China in the past two years, with local editions in the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Indonesia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and major Western European countries. The first English edition launched online in 2003. Followed by the New York print edition in 2004. In 2000, 10 Epic Times correspondents were imprisoned in China, but current staff of the Chinese language edition work in Hong Kong. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Distribution. As of February 2012, 67 Epic Times newspaper editions are published in print on five continents. They are available in 11 languages and have a distribution of 1,315,000 copies in 35 countries. Distribution varies from daily to monthly. Epic Times is available in 21 languages on the Internet. In Chinese there are websites for Hong Kong, Taiwan and Australia as well as the main Chinese website. Epic Times receives 105 million page views per month from 20 million visitors. Reporters cover stories that pertain to their own areas, contributing to a pool of articles for the different editions to share. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Launch dates and summaries. Other languages. Topic: <laughs> Editions. <laughs> 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 Topic New York Edition Epic Times flagship New York Edition is typically around 50 pages, divided into four sections. Section A is primarily devoted to current events, with several pages devoted to China issues and politics. Section A also includes opinion pages, sports, science and technology, business and real estate. Section B is arts and culture, covering classical art forms, exhibits and events. Section B also includes style and an essence of China page devoted to traditional Chinese culture, stories, and art forms. Section C focuses on health and fitness featuring mainstream medical science, alternative and Chinese medical treatments. Section D is food which focuses on cooking and local restaurants. Topic: Other English editions. Outside of New York, other English editions typically take the form of a 16-24 page broadsheet. The content is a shorter version of the New York edition, with a focus on each edition's local region. Topic Chinese edition Print editions range from 30 to 80 pages. 
A typical print edition includes sections on local and national news, China, world, health, science, autos, real estate, arts and culture, style, home, food, dining, and special sections covering traditional Chinese culture and values. According to the Canadian Circulations Audit Board, Epoch Times is the first and the only Chinese language daily newspaper in Canada to complete a circulation audit. Notable coverage Topic: Organ harvesting in China In March 2006, Epoch Times published the allegations of three Chinese individuals who said that thousands of Falun Gong practitioners had been killed to supply China's organ transplant industry, including a doctor, who said there were 36 concentration camps all over China. Kilgur Mattis report stated, "...the source of 41,500 transplants for the six-year period 2000–2005 is unexplained," and, "...we believe that there has been and continues today to be large-scale organ seizures from unwilling Falun Gong practitioners." Appendix 16 of the revised report refuted Harry Wu's negative comments. In 2008, two United Nations special rapporteurs reiterated their requests for the Chinese government to fully explain the allegation of taking vital organs from Falun Gong practitioners and the source of organs for the sudden increase in organ transplants that has been going on in China since the year 2000. The Chinese government has consistently denied the allegations. The parliaments of Canada and the European Union, Taiwan, as well as the Foreign Affairs Subcommittee of the U.S. House of Representatives, have adopted resolutions condemning organ harvesting from Falun Gong prisoners of conscience. Other reports During the 2009 New York City controller elections, Epoch Times alleged that Taiwan-born Democratic nominee John Liu is part of a «united front» by the Chinese Communist Party to infiltrate the United States and subvert its government, democracy, and human rights in general. The newspaper alleged that «the CCP works tenaciously and systematically to place its people in key positions in corporations, academia, and government in the United States and other countries." Epoch Times also published an eight-page, special edition, and also featured on its website a section focused on coverage of Liu's reported ties with CCP officials. During Hu Jintao's visit to Canada in June 2010, the Toronto Star noted that Epoch Times had published several, hard-hitting, Critical stories on Hu's visit, such as allegations of the local Chinese embassy's orchestration of welcome parades, as well as an alleged recording of a speech by the first Secretary of Education Liu Xiaohua, in which Liu stated that embassy would provide accommodation and transport for over 3,000 participants in the welcome parade. Canadian media reported that the Parliamentary Press Office made deliberate arrangements in relation to Hu's public appearances, limiting Epoch Times access to the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, even though the newspaper is an accredited member of the Canadian Parliamentary Press Gallery. The paper carried an exclusive interview with outspoken Canadian Member of Parliament Rob Anders, wherein Anders alleged that the Chinese government used gifts and business deals in attempts to influence Canadian political decisions. <laughs> Editorial stance The editorial stance of Epoch Times is generally considered anti communist, specifically opposing the Communist Party of China. The newspaper counters what it considers to be Chinese Communist Party propaganda through its own opinion pieces and reporting. The newspaper covers causes and groups opposed to the CCP, including Falun Gong, dissidents, activists, and supporters of the Tibetan government in exile. The paper also reports on Falun Gong-related news, including the group's attempt to sue former Chinese leader Zhang Zemin under civil legislation for genocide, not covered by most other overseas Chinese-language newspapers. In 2005, the San Francisco Chronicle reported that three new U.S.-based, Chinese-language media outlets that provide provocative reporting about the Communist Party, government oppression and social unrest in China namely Epoch Times, Sound of Hope, and NTD-TV have ties to the Falun Gong spiritual movement. 
When interviewed, executives at each outlet said they did not represent the Falun Gong movement as a whole. Epic Times also runs mainstream newswire stories and in some places can resemble a community newspaper. Zhao said, While mainstream newspaper typically treat web versions as an extension of the already existing print version, Epic Times website serves as the master for all its worldwide papers. In some cases, Epic Times operates in a hostile overseas environment, in which Overseas Chinese media companies choosing to remain independent or publish non-approved content become the targets of an aggressive campaign of elimination or control. In one instance Chinese diplomatic officials made threats against media for reporting Falun Gong related content. In other cases, advertisers have been regularly threatened not to support Epic Times in any way. Communist Party authorities have also been accused of resorting to militant methods against the newspaper and its staff members including it is alleged of attacking staff and destroying computer equipment the newspaper reported that in 2005 the communist party exerted hard and soft pressure on printing houses in hong kong forcing the paper to stop printing after it reported on tibet human rights falun gong and was the first media to break the story on sars the newspaper was also briefly banned from Malaysia after coming under reported pressure by the Chinese Communist Party. The German edition of the newspaper, Epic Times Deutschland, which became web only in 2012, is aligned with the German far right, attracting readers supportive of the Alternative for Germany (AFD) party and the anti-immigrant group Pegida. Topic: <laughs> Relationship to Falun Gong. English Epic Times chair Stephen Gregory said in 2007, "...it's not a Falun Gong newspaper. Falun Gong is a question of an individual's belief. The paper's not owned by Falun Gong, it doesn't speak for Falun Gong, it doesn't represent Falun Gong. It does cover the persecution of Falun Gong in China." Associated Press reporter Nahal Tusi wrote that it is, "...technically inaccurate." to say that the Falun Gong organization owns the Epic Times. However, many Epic Times staffers are Falun Gong practitioners. Tusi noted that, "...many observers," have said that Falun Gong uses the newspaper as part of a public relations campaign. Canadian scholar Clement Tong wrote that the Epic Times, "...operates as a mouthpiece for Falun Gong, despite the absence of an official statement of affiliation with the movement, in 2008, David Aunby, director of the Centre for East Asian Studies at the Université de Montréal and the author of Falun Gong and the Future of China, said the newspaper is set up by Falun Gong practitioners with their own money. He describes Epoch Times as wishing to be taken seriously as a global newspaper rather than being judged on the basis of its strong association with Falun Gong. He wrote. Epic Times is a newspaper with a mission, that of reporting on issues bearing on human rights throughout the world, which allows for considerable focus on China and Falun Gong. While many individuals involved in the production of the newspaper practice Falun Gong, according to Zhao Yuji, the media seeks to present itself as public interest oriented and independent of any political and business groups objectively and fairly reporting facts and truth." Its reporting on Chinese affairs often highlights negative news about the Chinese government and coverage of Falun Gong in a sympathetic light. In this view, the paper articulates Falun Gong's views on a range of issues, and may be part of a de facto media alliance with democracy activists in exile. The newspaper has been described by some scholars as a mouthpiece for Falun Gong, connected with the group and carrying sympathetic coverage of it. A spokesperson for the newspaper says it does not speak for the practice. The newspaper maintains a generally anti-communist editorial stance, including explicit opposition to the Communist Party of China. Topic: <laughs> Trump administration. According to BuzzFeed News, the Epic Times is known for its positive coverage of the Trump administration. In September 2018, Epic Times photographer Samira Buau broke White House protocol and handed Trump a folder during an official event. Topic: Editorials. Topic: 
Nine Commentaries on the Communist Party Since November 2004, the Chinese version of Epic Times has published and promoted a series of editorials and a booklet titled, Nine Commentaries on the Communist Party. Traditional Chinese, Zhu Ping Gong Chan Dang Simplified Chinese, Zhu Ping Gong Chan Dang. The editorials expose the CCP's often violent political campaigns through its history, from its ascent to power under Mao Zedong to its present day form. The CCP was criticized as an illegitimate institution which used underhanded tactics to gain power. The commentaries allege that the CCP destroyed traditional Chinese culture and brands the CCP an evil cult. According to Aunbi, the commentaries are a condemnation of communism and direct indictment on the legitimacy of the Chinese Communist Party in ruling China. While acknowledging the unnecessary violence, the Chinese Communist Party has inflicted, as a professional historian Aunbi finds that the lack of balance and nuance in tone and style makes the editorial resemble anti-communist propaganda written in Taiwan in the 1950s. The commentaries won an award in 2005. The nine commentaries have been translated into more than 30 other languages and released as a DVD. The nine commentaries have been credited by the newspaper and prominent leaders of the expatriate Chinese community, with sparking an exodus from the CCP and its affiliated organizations. The Epoch Times website hosts a CCP Renunciations service, encouraging Chinese to quit the CCP and related organizations. The number of people who have resigned from the Communist Party of China or its affiliate organizations is published in Chinese editions of the newspaper. The counter stood at over 320 million on December 4, 2018. Topic: Assessments. David Aunby stated that the newspaper's articles are well written and interesting, if occasionally idiosyncratic in their coverage. According to Aunby, it has been praised and also been criticized for a perceived bias against the CCP, and support of Falun Gong practitioners and other dissidents such as Tibetans, Taiwanese independence advocates, democracy activists, Uyghurs and others. The paper, therefore, is often assessed in light of its connection to Falun Gong, rather than a thorough analysis of its editorial content. James Bettinger, a professor of communications at Stanford University and the director of the John S. Knight Journalism Fellowships, said, Even if Epoch Times is not associated with Falun Gong, if they consistently write about Falun Gong in the same perspective, or if there are no articles examining Falun Gong, people would perceive it as being not credible. Orville Skell, dean of the UC Berkeley Graduate School of Journalism, said in 2005 that, "...it's hard to vouch for their quality because it's difficult to corroborate, but it's not something to be dismissed as pure propaganda." Zhao Gubiao, a former Beijing University journalism professor who was dismissed after criticizing the Central Propaganda Department, proposed that even if Epoch Times published only negative information highly critical of the CCP, the weight of their attacks could never begin to counterbalance the positive propaganda the party publishes about itself. In addressing media balance, Zhao noted that the Chinese public lacked negative, critical information regarding their country. As such, he noted for a need of media balance based on the principles of freedom, equality, and legality, and that media balance is the result of the collective imbalances of all. The paper has also been lauded by some political commentators and media experts. Ethan Gutman has characterized Epoch Times as a leader in political analysis of the Chinese regime, saying, with the Chinese regime in crisis series, Epoch Times has finally and indisputably arrived. Any China expert who wants to save face by pretending the paper doesn't exist can continue to do so for a little while anyway but they had better be reading it in secret. According to Ming Sha, political science professor at the College of Staten Island, Epoch Times represents part of Falun Gong's effort to expand to non practitioners and is part of the Falun Gong strategy to embed itself into the large civil society for influence and legitimacy. Epoch Times has been criticized by some scholars for an anti-communist bias, particularly regarding the Chinese Communist Party and mainland China issues, as well as for being a mouthpiece of the Falun Gong movement. James Tu, a New Zealand political scientist, described the Epoch Times as the primary mouthpiece of Falun Gong, writing that it 
lacks credibility, despite the newspaper posing a viable threat to the CCP by publishing articles about the party's negative aspects. In his book Blocked on Weibo, What Gets Suppressed on China's Version of Twitter and Why, University of Toronto Research Fellow Jason Q. Ng referred to the paper's coverage of mainland China issues as heavily biased against the Communist Party, and thus its reportage should be viewed skeptically. In 2010, Epoch Times successfully defended its reporting in the Canadian court system, when a publisher they had reported on, Crescent Chow, sued for libel. The justice in charge of the case ruled that the paper had acted in the public interest, and that the particular article expressed, "...legitimate concerns and constitute an opinion which is drawn from a factual premise." In examining the case, John Gordon Miller, a Canadian journalist and media professor, noted that the paper's articles appear to be thoroughly and professionally reported. The web-only, German edition of the paper, Epoch Times Deutschland, has been criticized by media analysts for its favorable coverage of far-right populist groups such as the Alternative for Germany and Pegida, both of which proclaims anti-immigrant views, and promotion of skepticism towards mainstream German media and politicians. A report described the outlet, along with Sputnik News and COP Report, as a favorite media of Pegida supporters, and found that its articles critical of immigration has been shared almost daily. <laughs> Awards 2012 Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal – Epoch Times was awarded this commemorative medal, which honours significant contributions and achievements by Canadians. Canadian publisher Cindy Gu was nominated for the medal by the Canadian Centre for Abuse Awareness for raising awareness of human rights abuses in China and the organ harvesting of Falun Gong practitioners. 2012 National Ethnic Press and Media Council Award, the Chinese edition of Epoch Times was given this annual award for "...excellence in editorial, free expression, best concept and visual presentation." 2012 New York Press Association Award – Epoch Times won first place in the category Best Special Section — Advertising, Division 2 Inches — for a special section produced for Asia Week New York in March 2012. A great special section has five strong components, a great cover, appealing design, good art, strong content, and well-designed complementary advertising. This section has all five," said the NYPA judges. In all, this is one of the nicest sections I have ever seen produced by a newspaper. 2012 Society of Professional Journalists Sigma Delta Chi Award, Epoch Times China reporter Matthew Robertson won this award in the category of non-deadline reporting for a series of articles he wrote on forced, live organ harvesting in China. 2013 Newswomen's Club Award, Epoch Times New York reporter Genevieve Bellmaker won the front page award from the Newswomen's Club of New York for reporting about the impact of Hurricane Sandy, in the category of newspapers with a circulation of less than 100,000 per days. See also Falun Gong related groups New Tang Dynasty TV Shen Yun Performing Arts Sound of Hope World Journal Topic Footnotes Topic External Links English website thepoctimes.com See languages for 20 other languages Spanish website Nine Commentaries on the Communist Party. Nine Commentaries. Com. Australia Epoch Times Newspaper.